करते Why? How to counter office bully? Have you ever thought about that? And uh, all of us uh, kind of experience this some time or other. It is uh, some time, most of the times, of course, when you are a junior professional, it is mostly abused by your senior. When you grow in experience, it becomes intimidation and afterwards simply abuse of power when you also grow and your seniors also grow. At a very uh, senior level, when there is no rationality, uh, it, it becomes simply uh, rules and regulations and abuse of power. This is what a, a constitutes workplace bully. So how do you counter that? If you hear people who bully others, who are those people who bully you? Those people are traumatic in their personal life. Believe it or not, accept it or not. It hurt people, hurt people, that is the principle. But can we see or sympathize or empathize with such kind of people when we are suffering? Uh, do you want to know how do you counter it peacefully? Let us first understand what other kinds of toxic behavior that you encounter. And uh, first, you, one needs to understand what is bullying. And uh, most of the people, for, for a long period of time, they actually don't realize that this is happening with them. And when they realize, they simply walk away. And walking away is the last option. What do you do uh, when you start realizing that bully is happening to you? And uh, you, are, you, you start preparing yourself to walk away, but... What do you do in the interim uh, period when you are not yet uh, uh, not yet away, still there, and still have to uh, go through all this body? The there is a trust issue. Toxic behavior, yes, that is how you understand, that is how you feel. But what is the underlying issue is the trust and why trust issue comes because there is some kind of poisoning of workplace to you because the other person also has been poisoned somehow um, most probably with insecurity fear of competition change of power equation and the uh, and the past that person has had how he his past experience has been the same will be reflected all of us we don't realize that it can happen in case of them it can happen in case of us so when we realize that it can happen to us, then only we can bring ourselves to the level playing field. Then only we can take ourselves up to the level of the person who is abused. So that is the first step towards countering of his bully. And that is called the stability strategy. Before we move further, I introduce myself. I am Sangeeta. I am a USP creator coach. And by understanding your own USP, it helps ease the tension that is there as a result of this office bully. When we, when I speak of workplace win, 
the major area that I cover is office bully. Uh, believe it or not, that is what I have faced for majority of my career, which is why I learn and I recognize office bully. It is not that it is over for me. But you know, I now understand what it is and how it is. And when somebody is bullying, I understand the person is very, very insecure. At my level, my stage of the career, when you also have this 10 to 12 years plus experience, you also start recognizing that uh, uh, people who are bullying are uh, insecure, basically. So identifying office bullying behaviors is one. Uh, how it uh, happens, as I said, it is verbal abuse, derogatory language, insults, remarks, isolation and exclusion. They will sideline you, delib deliberately exclude you, alienate your feelings. They will sabotage your, your uh, perspective of further promotion undermine your work, withhold information so that you half know, intimidation and threats, aggressive gestures, fear installation. They will just simple, simply say, if you, if you are not interested, then I will hire somebody else. That is, that is a very childish kind of thing. Everybody knows. That he also, even if he or she is not there, then the organization survives. The same holds for you also. Case studies of office bullying, unmasking, workplace aggression is explore real cases revealing toxic dynamics from belittling to social exclusion, empowering professionals to combat bullying effectively how this has happened in other places. Even very senior people, very polished kind of people, when they come out of that polished environment, they start bullying, they start threatening, they start abusing, and it will surprise you. Why do, do they do so? Because they are uh, hiding behind a mask that is that is the best way to describe all such kind of people. So, the strategies for addressing office bully. Your intervention strategy is recognizing bullying behavior. Identify common bullying actions that a particular person does. He doesn't do, he or she. The good news is he or she who is bullying, the person who is a bully, he doesn't adopt all the methods of bullying. He just he has just one characteristic of bullying. And if he is the only person that you have to deal with, or he is a senior person, then you have to identify that kind of bully and associate that kind of bully with that person. And that's the best way. So when he bullies, you have you can have a better strategy to either ignore it. The best strategy is to not to register their rudeness. You know, when you don't register what they are saying and you just go by face value, don't bother about what they are meaning or anything, then the effect they can cause uh, on you will be very restricted. Another way is of seeking support network, internal and external support. That can be very helpful, but you know, for most of the time, it, it, uh, these networks of people, it will only increase the toxicity in your mind. When you share with this, there will be less solution and more of kind of uh, consolidation of that behavior and it will build tension. So. It's best to handle it all by oneself. Maintaining professionalism, uphold composure and documentation. 
say what needs to be said. Don't express what you are feeling. Don't loud think. That is how you counter it. After all, you are addressing a person who is not going to say with whatever you are saying. He only will be alienated more and more. So why say at all? Just ignore. Although it is very difficult to ignore and you feel like reacting to that kind of idiotic behavior. But again, it always is very professional and uh, uh, you will be a composed person and you will always win if you can be a composed person under all circumstances. That is the main thing. Maybe that is why you are being put into these circumstances by the universe or whatever you see so that you can grow in your composer. So ultimately, the person who doesn't give in to these kind of provocation is the person who is respected more. So this is your chance when you are getting bullied. This is your chance to show to the world that you are a better professional than the person who is bullying you. Of course, obviously, everybody can see that and this is the best strategy and that is why I call this a stability strategy because you are a stable person in mind and stable with your thought and uh, you don't care what the other person is saying. It works, doesn't matter. It is your composer that wins that day for you, you as well as the environment and of course in the long run for everybody. Educate on intervention importance, emphasize strategy significance. Support system for victim. If you are a leader or even if you are not a leader, your influence should be such or your weight should be such. If somebody else is getting bullied, what, whatever I have discussed so far is personal bully. But if it is happening with your friend, then you are the person who is witness to that kind of bully. So you can always empower that person and that victim effectively by bringing in the HR policy, telling the person that this is not right and why not right. You have to bring in that reason instead of getting into an argument with that person. Of course, when you are saying, please choose your timing, that the person is cannot kind of defy what uh, or or be defensive about his behavior. At one point of time, uh, when when uh, you are explaining uh, that. This is the right and why you did what you did. People are not, there are people who will not be very tolerant about what your free soul, your free nature. They will always try to put your soul into some kind of rule, regulation in the name of discipline. And they will kind of blame you for being defensive and argumentative. So avoid that kind of statement from them if you know that this is like they are putting their whole whole uh, being, their whole argument, their whole presence, their whole, their whole existence into proving yourself wrong. When that is happening, that is not the time when you should speak. Accept and uh, be calm and if you can excuse yourself from the discussion, just do that. Do not prolong that discussion by giving an explanation. 
you don't have to give an explanation to anybody because your friends would not need it and the people who do not trust you they don't believe you so there is there is no reason why you should explain anything to anybody if it goes far then of course there are legal assistance but i was searching in the internet whether there is a regulation against bully there is none because there is no definition of bullying being a crime everybody knows that that it can go to any extent people can suffer because of their uh, well being their mental well being and it can create a lot of destruction in those terms but it is not defined the mental well being is not defined and it cannot be measured that is the whole um, crux of why it is not a legal it cannot be brought in onto legal assistance but many people have many countries many laws are there which kind of restricts bully so how do you prove that unless you are in a collective expressing the against misbehavior and other thing it can at best be described as misbehavior it cannot be proven as bully bully is a greater element a personal element the other person has to be treated against this it's very difficult to prove this so you have to equip yourself as to how to counter it of course we can form support groups we can discuss that these are the cases that one bullies and uh, we have to evaluate ourselves also whether we have given those kind of circumstances to be bullied whether we have offered ourselves to be bullied in most of the cases although it appears it sounds very strange but in believe it or not in 90% of cases we offer ourselves to be bullied because we do not choose confrontation we do not choose to confront confrontation is not friction confrontation is clarifying your stand and to understand the other person's view whatever that other person has said if it should have been said building stability amid career challenges how do you do that life doesn't get easier or more forgiving we get stronger and more resilient sleep maropoli overcoming career obstacles building resilience against bullying so after some time when you have gained so much of experience you kind of build resilience against bullying you kind of know how to ignore such kind of behavior because you cannot ignore or do away with such bullying behavior because it comes with human nature when you are on the weak side the other person tends to bully it comes naturally to human behavior even if we are at that point we will say something to the other person which is not very pleasant that itself is bullying right so knowing that knowing that that it is a very human kind of behavior you need to kind of shield yourself against those bullying behavior identify signs of bullying developing resilience build mental strength for resilience just ignore is the best strategy best indicator of mental resilience seeking support network leverage mentors and hr support within your office environment or even beyond that you can have mentors who can speak or who can express very freely about what is not right conflict resolution strategies is another strategy which is a form of con- confrontation confrontation kind of sounds like very negative but conflict resolution sounds very very 
पॉजिटिव है इट इज द मैनेजरियल एंड लीडरशिप क्वालिटी रिजोल्व बुलिंग बिहेवियर प्रोमोटिंग सेल्फ केयर प्रैक्टिस प्रायोरिटाइज मेंटल हेल्थ एक्टिविटी एम्पावरिंग मिड लेवल प्रोफेशनल इफ यू आर इन द मिड सीनियर लेवल do you know to empower yourself how do you do that through awareness of course impact of office bullying affects well being and career that is what your senior management needs to understand if they do not already recognize bullying behavior identify different bullying type discuss it in a group meeting without naming anybody so that people know that it is it is then that they have created such kind of situation establishing boundaries of course the people who have bullied you they do not expect your whole hearted support so it has to be a professional boundary and you should not allow the other person to cross that bound say what is not okay tell that this is not done do your best but that boundary has to come into effect till they say sorry support network seek help from colleagues as i as i said this is the last option that you should do if you are a resilient person don't spread it uh, in your friend circle because it is not helpful not healthy in the long run that is what i feel but it is my personal opinion you can have your own choices developing self advocacy skills it is not defiance it is not being defensive but you should know why you did that and you have to establish that this is how you do and it cannot be done this explanation cannot be done afterwards it has to be laid down it has to be a rule in your behavior prior before you do take an action do lay down the rules that you will be behaving in this particular fashion the other person knows that you will be in that person, that behavior in that style so that they don't have to say anything and they know and if they have to say anything they have to say it before before it is done building confidence and self worth is empowerment for resilience recognize self worth value and importance of self awareness confidence building technique positive affirmation boundaries support self care practices mindfulness exercise therapy empowerment strategies assertiveness conflict resolution and mindfulness actionable tools and techniques implementing conflict resolution that is why conflict resolution is a very good that is the tool that i teach when i teach team building conflict resolution is a window through which another person can tell you what he doesn't agree to so that has to be a clear communication channel your interest and the other person interest should not collide at any point of time encourage empathy and active listening why the person is saying so you have to understand also mediation technique facilitated discussion with specialist role playing for skill development practice assertiveness and problem solving that you don't like or you like conflict resolution models utilize structured frameworks effectively creating boundaries and assertive recognizing bullying behavior identify verbal abuse and intimidation and stop it don't and tell everybody explicitly very explicitly that this is not to be tolerated 
clear boundaries, establish personal and professional boundaries, assertiveness, technique, practice, confidently address challenging situations. If you are seeing such situation happening, as I say, it you have to choose the timing when you say what you didn't like. You cannot say when it is happening because the other person becomes detained and more hot. And in the process, maybe you are hurting that person also. So when situations is has calmed down or uh, um, the the circumstances of bullying is removed, then you can come and say what you didn't like. Of course, empathize with the other person. The person, the other person might have a point. That he didn't like, but he should also be behaving in a way which is acceptable and non-insulting to the other person. What you don't like, you can always pick that. You don't have to bully, right? So build communication skills and creating a supportive workplace culture. Uh, boost innovation and productivity with diverse team. Open communication, resolve conflicts proactively. Empathy training, foster understanding and respect. A culture of respect has to be built. That is when you will be empathetic with the other person. You will understand that there has to be a difference of opinion when you are discussing priorities, discussing plans and um, discussing ideas. Other people have can have different values. That doesn't amount or doesn't warrant bullying. Promoting positive work environment, employee well-being and productivity is paramount. As somebody said that uh, people are in charge of work and we are in charge of people if we are leaders. So their well-being and productivity if we are leaders or we are seniors that encourages and boosts morale and everything. Set example with your leadership style, demonstrate respect and communication, zero tolerance policies for anything that is going towards bullying, enforce it and encourage mutual respect culture, promote diversity and empathy. I 